Saying the Saints Row reboot was disappointing and a buggy mess on release is like saying water's wet. Everyone already knows, and if you didn't, well, you do now. It released back in 2022 where it was critically panned for being incredibly glitchy, having some soulless feeling gameplay and characters that just made you cringe to be honest and failed in the sales department. I wonder why, which also led to the studio unfortunately being shut down in 2023. Regardless of that, I forced myself to at least finish the story back at launch, meaning I'd already earned 24 of the trophies and with a total of 51, that left me with 27 more to unlock for the Platinum. The reboot tries to retain the Saints Row DNA and in some aspects it does, it's open world, it's got crazy weapons and some pretty fun and ridiculous side activities, insurance fraud anyone, with the main objective being to build an empire, buying businesses and completing missions for them. So why did I come back to the game after over a year? Well, it released on PlayStation Plus and honestly, I forgot the game even existed. So I re-downloaded it and jumped back in to Santo Eleso in hopes that in the year away, the game would have improved and although it was, it's still by far the worst Saints Row game to date. So as mentioned earlier, I already had all of these trophies. So no terrible story to worry about, which means the main goal was to achieve 100% in all 15 districts. To do so, I had to make money to buy and finish businesses, earning the tier five criminal empire, do challenges, grab collectibles, and complete all side hustles. So let's get on with it. The first trophy I unlocked was simply loading up the game. Chances are it was probably a bugged trophy before, it was for completing 25 challenges. The game has got 74 altogether, so it's pretty lenient with how many you need. You get them for doing a bunch of different things that'll take too long to go over. You can go look at them in your phone if you want to see which you have and haven't completed, but chances are you'll have this trophy way before earning the Platinum. You will, however, need to complete 46 for another trophy later on. Oh, okay then. So now in game, I checked what trophies I actually needed and a few were for doing random things like buying two emotes, boom, smooth moves, performing a quadruple backflip with a super air control ability. Each vehicle has a challenge tied to them and once completed allows you to purchase the ability. So to unlock this one, I had to do two double backflips with the mini ant truck. Once done, I took it back to the garage and did the upgrade. I then went out and found a good spot to do some flips. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Damn, I can't name Simone. Next, I had to refill the boost bar three times in a row with the infinite boost ability. Same as before, find a vehicle that has the ability and complete the challenge to unlock it, equip it, and then head to the motorway. How much more have I got? Oh no. Oh, free refills. Completed five of the 15 districts. Neighborly. And then had to destroy a car with the Pungus Sanctus Day. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it, which is a melee weapon that you unlock for finishing two hidden history discoveries. The weapon itself is ridiculous. It's a boxing glove on the end of a makeshift gun. After equipping it, I simply headed over to a vehicle and slapped it up until it exploded. Kaboom. Bonus round completed my final photo scavenger hunt. Basically, take photos of all 37 landmarks around Santo Ileso. Nice Bought at least one item from all 34 stores in the game. This includes weapon, clothes, tattoos, and emote shops. You can thankfully easily track which stores you bought an item from on the map, because if you hover over it, it'll say complete. I'll take that. Shopping spree. Completed all wingsuit challenges. You only need to do three, and they're all pretty straightforward. Going for a fly. Ooh, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Lee. Unlocked all vehicle special upgrades. Remember those abilities I mentioned earlier? Well, you need to do all 10. You don't have to complete one for every single vehicle in the game, so don't worry. You've just got to do the 10 that are unique. Like the wingsuit challenges, they're all very easy and straightforward. Oh, yeah. Heard you like wheels. Fully upgraded a vehicle. 
the mechanic. Fully upgraded a weapon, kitted out. I then customized a weapon, vehicle, clothing item, and my character's skin with a cutting edge material. For this one, you'll have to have bought the cutting edge business venture, which costs 400,000 and then completed at least one of its 15 missions. My God, that's ridiculous. Ooh, statement. Finished the final side hustle with five different activities and 41 altogether. They're quite fun and easily marked on the map in blue. Always be hustling. While doing all of them, I unlocked 100% in 10 of the 15 districts. Nice Community home. outreach. Continuing on, I defeated all members of the Idols Collective. There's six altogether, four from the story, one in free roam, and then the final one is on the Wanted app. I'll need to do all of the Wanted app targets for another trophy shortly. You went down, bro. You are one I bullet sponge. Dark. Chaos Tamer. Sang karaoke with the Saints. You get this for having all 14 ventures, your businesses, bought, and then purchasing the final upgrade, which is the Saints Tower for 8 million, which also unlocks the Criminal Empire Tier 5. This cutscene is probably the best one in the game. 15 miles to the club, get away. I got me a car, it's as big as a whale. 20 so, hurry up and bring your jukebox money. What the? <laughs> Is having a pee on his grave? Bang, 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 bang. On the door, baby. Knuckle it louder, sugar. Yo, what? Love shack, baby, love shack. Love sh I'm going to get copyright for this. We could go home. A golden age. With that, I went back into the wanted app on the phone to finish off the final remaining targets. All 12 are really easy when compared to the older Saints Row games. Bro's about to get demolished. <laughs> yep, that is a train. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. bye bye. The professional. I killed a tank driver with the quantum aperture ability. You get this after doing a few ventures and once unlocked, you can equip it from your skills app. And then you go on a rampage, get a police wanted level of five. That makes the tank show up, throw down the shield, and then take him out. Get out of my way. Oh, there's the tank. Right. Shield down. There we go. Come on. There we go. Armor piercing. I hit a launch pinata with the pinata stick. You get the pinata launcher for finishing the let's pretend venture and the stick for doing one of the side hustles. Once both are unlocked, just go and grab them from any weapon store. All right, I've got my weapon. Let's fire the down, there we go. Get the bat. Smack it, there we go. Get out my way, bro. Get it. Hey, fiesta time. Completed my final of 15 districts to 100%. So we're now close to earning the plat. All right, I think I might be almost done here. Just what I wanted. Hey, there we go, all mine. First though, I have finished 10 crimes of opportunity. These randomly pop up in certain areas of the map. Hey, hey, there we go. Untouchable. Complete 10 crimes of opportunity. It was quite hard for those to spawn. Seems like there's a pretty good strategy. If you go here, sometimes one spawns. Here, sometimes one spawns. And here, they spawn. Uh, when you've done all three, just kind of quit, the, save the game and quit out of it and come back on the game. And sometimes they respawn in those three locations. With that one done, I think I only need three more now. Yeah, three more. So we need Prankster, obtain 85 collectibles and acquire every perk, which is just basically complete challenges. Collected 85 items in the collectibles app. The game's got 115, so you don't need all of them. For these, you simply take a picture of them which unlocks them to customize in your hideout. You'll know when you're near one because they have this like strange blue glow to them. Hey, there we go. The collector. Obtain 85 items in the collectibles app. Sweet. I then unlocked every perk. The game has 34 perks altogether and to get them all, you'll have to complete 46 of the challenges. Oh, there we go. Jack of all trades, acquire every perk. Hell yeah. I wasn't expecting it that quick. 
So we just need one more trophy now, which is to prank someone in co-op. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to just randomly search for a match or if I'll need to uh, try and get someone to uh, invite or something. And now for the final trophy, the only co-op trophy in the game, prank a co-op partner. To do this, you simply join someone else's game or allow people to join you. Hold right on the D-pad, which will then ask you to complete a little challenge. What the hell? Once done, hold right again and boom. The trophy, and in my case, the platinum, was earned. There we go. Trophy, prankster, prank co-op partner, and completionist. The platinum trophy is mine. It's ours. Unlock all trophies. Happy days. I got my co-op partner there. I think he might have got the platinum as well. Beautiful stuff. I'm getting run over. <laughs> Bringing my Saints Row journey to an end. Overall, I enjoyed it more coming back to it. I think partly because it was less buggy, but mainly because I didn't have to deal with the terrible characters and story. So let me know if you want to see the DLC in the future, since they're currently on sale. So I might pick them up. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. There it is. 100% complete. Platinum's ours. Consider leaving a like. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.